William Quackenbush here with the Ipte and ClemsonTigers.com preview of the NCAA Track and Field Championships. This coming Wednesday through Saturday in Des Moines, Iowa here with the Director of Track and Field for the Tigers, Lawrence Johnson, and Coach 18 athletes going up there. you got to be pretty excited about your chances. Uh, definitely excited about the number of athletes that we're taking to the championships uh, this year. It's probably, uh, well, it is the most numbers that we've taken since I've been here and since the program has been under uh, my direction. So really proud of the, the numbers that we have, really proud of student athletes that are going and I like our chances. You got one defending national champion You're taking back up there, Patricia Mamona. What's she got to do to defend her title this year? Uh, she got to just jump far, man. Uh, she has to go out there and just stay within herself, stay poised, understand that the competition around her is going to be pretty good, and, ele and everybody is going to elevate their game uh, to match hers. I mean, uh, last year we kind of upset the apple cart, if you will, by beating defending champ champion uh, Kimberly Williams from Florida State. And she's back there this year competing. So I know that she has us. Uh, in her scope and we have her in our scope and uh, and everybody else has everybody in their scope so uh, Tisha just has to go out there and just stay poised and just do what she does best and that's perform under uh, pressure situations I think she should be fine a lot of first-time qualifiers on both the men's and women's side what's a mindset that they're gonna need to take into their first national meet uh, they got to go in there with a take no prisoners sort of attitude. It's their first time. They're really green to the experience of going to a national championship and competing. So they just got to. They don't. They won't really recognize some of the better athletes that are, have been experienced and in, in a season. So they'll just go in there with youthfulism and they'll go in there and, and and just compete hard. And I think take a no prisoner, no mercy attitude to everybody that they line up against, and they could have some success. What are some of those first timers we can look out for to really break out in the meet? Oh, I think definitely uh, Alyssa Kulik is a shining star. Uh, she shined brightly for us at the regional, uh, well, the first round of the NC2A championship. Was really proud of her to go up under 10 minutes in such a competitive event. Was absolutely fantastic. Uh, looking forward to Warren Frazier uh, continuing his hot streak here in the latter part of the spring. Uh, it's his first time running a 100 meter competition there. Looking forward to him being there and doing his thing. Uh, definitely looking forward to Bridget Owens, our freshman uh, hurdle phenom. Looking forward to her continuing her uh, latter, uh, late year success and uh, I think that she could go there and do well. So uh, those three first timers uh, puts us in a pretty good position uh, and they're, they're ranked pretty high going in and they're very confident this time of year. So we're pretty excited about their chances and really looking forward to them competing at those championships. One of the names Clemson fans need to probably get used to seeing is Justin Murdoch, qualified in four events, including a 4 by 4 team. He's got some high expectations going in. Uh, on that men's side, talk about him and sort of the role that he plays in elevating everybody else's game. Uh, Justin's done a fantastic job of really stepping up his game this year and being a true leader on the team. Uh, he's been selfless this year and everything that we've asked him to do. Uh, he's anchored both of those relays and been a mainstay and really sets the tone for us. And he's done well in both his individual events, the 100 and the 200. Uh, Justin has really elevated every, his game, which has elevated everybody else's game around him. And, and you can see the guys are really starting to believe in one another, and they really have a great sense of camaraderie. And, I, and, and that's really what has gotten us this far this year. I think the men, you know, put a chip on their shoulder and they said, listen, the, the women's program has had a, enjoyed a lot of success, but hey, listen, we're talented and we can enjoy the same success. And they've and so and we've set the bar up high for them and this is a, we have a great track tradition here at Clemson. And so we have a lot to live up to. And uh, those guys are poised and really focused on living up to that and I think that's their their motivating factor uh, thus far this year. The pinnacle of the track and field season at the NCAA Championships, Des Moines, Iowa. Follow all the action right here on ClemsonTigers.com.